Hello friends, this video on light part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us more closely look at uh, the cells, the photosensitive cells of retina that is rods and cones. So rods, are, they contain specific photopigments. Now why are they photosensitive? Why photo that is light sensitive, that is sensitive to light. So why are they photosensitive? Because they contain photopigments. They contain some specific pigments which can sense, which can sense light. Now both of these rods and cones, they contain different pigments and that is why they respond differently to light. So rods contain a purple colored pigment called rhodopsin that is why it is named rod and these are responsible for vision at low light level so when there is dim light or when there is less light that time also we are able to see it is not that for example when there is dim light in your house we do not go blind right we can still see things in dim light it is just that we need to i mean put a little more effort to see that so those cells which are responsible for vision when there is limited light either dim light or no light in fact sometimes you would have seen that suddenly when power goes off so the entire house becomes dark initially you are not able to see anything but if you remain in dark for some time then after a couple of minutes you are able to see certain things obviously you will not be able to see everything clearly but at least you'll be able to see things for example you are in your living room okay so first the, the light is switched on so you are able to see everything suddenly light goes off and the room becomes dark so now initially you will not be able to see anything it will be complete dark but after a few minutes you will be able to see a slight picture of where the television is where the fridge is very slightly you'll be able to see so that vision is due to the rods because these rhodopsin pigments they help to sense light of low intensities Rods are more numerous than cones. So if you talk about the number of rods present and number of cones present, so rods are more than that of cones. Now cones are just the opposite. They contain a different pigment which is responsive to red, green and blue light. So they can actually uh, sense a lot of colorful lights. So that is why they help in daylight vision or colored vision. It helps to distinguish colors because it can actually sense specific colors. So in this picture are drawn the rods and cone cells. So the blue ones which you see here, they are the rods and the red ones are the cones. So these are cones. So if you look at the number of rods, they are quite more when compared to the number of cones. So this is how the retina is so retina is sensitive to light due to the presence of rods and cones now another interesting thing there are certain animals which become active at night some of the nocturnal birds like owl so they are active at night they can see things at night in fact not only owl there are a couple of animals who can see at night now can you guess how are they able to see at night because they have more numerous rods because the rods in them are more in number they are more active and because of that they are able to see at night but in case of human beings we also have rods which might be more numerous than, than cones but they are not sufficient enough to give a clear vision at night but whichever animal is able to see properly at night that means their rods are extremely effective so that, that is the composition of retina. Now if we try to understand the function of retina, then it would be uh, like a screen. It is a light sensitive screen. Why is the screen light sensitive? Due to the presence of rods and cones. And on this screen, image is formed. So it is just like the normal image formation. But instead of a plain mirror, you have a lens here. So you have a lens, you have an object. Object are the, those things which we are seeing. And you have a screen where image will be formed and that screen is retina. Rods and cones contain the photopigments and that's how image is formed here. Now another very important thing when we talk about retina it is worth to talk of blind spot. Now on this retina on this screen of retina there is one single spot 
where image formation does not take place. Why? Because there are no photoreceptor cells present at this particular spot. So if you look at this spot, there are no cells present here. Now, if there are photo, no photoreceptor cells, there is nobody to receive light. If nobody is able to receive light, no image formation will take place. So why is it called blind spot? Because since no image formation takes place at this point, we are actually not able to see anything at this point. Sounds quite surprising, right? That we are able to see everything. So how do we know that there exists a point inside our eye and whenever the ray comes to that point, we are not able to see stuffs. So how do we know that? So let me give you an illustration and this illustration will tell you that there exists this point. Now before that, let me talk about this. Anything which we see, any image which is formed on our retina, that doesn't just vanish immediately. Whatever we see, that impression will remain in the retina for 1 16th of second, which is not a very small time. I mean, when we are talking about retina, remembering something for 1 16th of a second. Now, whenever we see something moving, for example, a moving picture, maybe in a movie. So how do we see that moving picture? something which is moving on a screen. So anything which is moving on a screen is actually a, a huge number of pictures which are moving one after another. Now, let's take this example. Let us suppose you have two different pictures. This is picture one, this is picture two. They are two separate pictures, okay? Now, let us assume that nobody is moving. This boy, there is no boy at all. It is just one picture, the first picture one, the second picture two. Now let us suppose if these two pictures are made to move at a very fast rate, something like this. So if these two pictures are moving so fast, what did you see just now? It felt as if the boy is walking, right? So even though there was no boy at all, it was just two different pictures. So nobody was moving, but it was just the pictures it was arranged in a particular sequence and they were moving at a very fast rate. It was moving at such a fast rate that the first image when we see the impression still remains in the retina. Before that the second image is formed. Again that impression remains in the retina. So as a result images are formed in continuation and we feel that the boy is moving. And that is how moving picture is perceived by our retina. Right? So now let us look at the illustration of blind spot. So just now I was telling there exists one point on the retina where we go blind, where we, the image is not formed. Now to understand this, what you can do is, now it is extremely difficult for me to exactly explain where that blind spot comes because it is something which you have to feel for yourself. So all I can do is I can just guide you to do this. You take a strip of paper, a rectangular sheet of paper, and on this you mark two points. On one side, you mark it as a plus sign, and on the other side, you mark it as a dot. So that's how you do it. Now what you do, you just close your right eye. You close your right eye and you try to focus on the dot. So by closing your right eye, you are just looking constantly at the dot. Please remember that you are going to close your right eye. So let us suppose this is your right eye. This is your left eye. Okay. So this is your right eye. This is your left eye. And you are looking towards, you are looking towards this. Okay. So you close your right eye. And you look constantly at the dot. So look only on the dot. But I'm very sure even if you are looking only on the dot, you are still able to see that plus sign that it is somewhere there. Okay. Now you start bringing the sheet of paper closer to you. Now as you start bringing it closer to you, a point will come where we will not be able to see this cross sign. Even though you'll be able to see the entire sheet of paper, but this cross sign will vanish. That point is nothing but your blind spot. Because at that point, image formation is not happening. That is why you are not able to see the image of this object. Because this object is located at such a point that its image should have formed on that blind spot. But since there are no 
photoreceptor cells so image formation is not taking place and you are not able to see that point and please make sure try to do this experiment yourself and you will see that there exists only one such point it is not that everywhere you are feeling the same so for one particular point you will have this kind of feeling now you can perform this experiment vice versa also that is you can close your left eye but then in that case you should focus on the cross and then bring it near and you will see that the dot will vanish at the blind spot so this is how you can feel the presence of blind spot Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.